Hi guys, so I'm starting a new vlog all about cooking and all about uh, hacking this kitchen. Also, kitchen. if you watched the previous video, we saw Randall Chong's on cooking steak and how you can relate. Uh, you didn't steak. see me, you know, preparing coffee, no? The, oh, hindi pa. That can be another vlog episode also. So we saw him prepare my steak. kitchen, my kitchen. This kitchen, yeah, amazing. You know, Marvin, this is my the favorite part of mm. the house for me, and this is the part when building this house. This is the part that I really got involved with. Mm, interesting. So, it's a studio effect. Look at the lighting. Natural light. <laughs> light yan. So, he, he made a uh, cooking steak uh, close to finance and investing. Mm -hmm. This time, we will take it a notch uh, higher naman and we will get more personal oh, with yeah. the man, the myth, the legend. Look, just go below no, to, to follow him also. If you're from YouTube, you haven't seen him yet, follow him. Amazing guy. Uh, this is this is a video series also that we do for Icon 2018, which mm -hmm. will be on May 26. The link is below. It's the largest conference here in the Philippines. So my question is this: Since you asked me in your YouTube channel about uh, my biggest trading, investing, stock mistakes, mm -hmm. my question is: What's your uh, top 100 finance mistakes? No, you just give me three, <laughs> three finance mistakes that you've uh, wow, wow. you've had over the past. Uh, no, since I'm yes. old already, so I made a lot of mistakes. No? Okay. So that's what I want. Siguro, the greatest mistake, I would say, financially, no, is that I should have saved more um, when I was young. Mm. Um, I've had this idea, no, because money is behavior. Right? When you say younger, what age? 10, 20, in my 20s, in my 20s. 20s. 30s. So, I'm turning 51 next month. So, you know. I'm going to go from my perspective. Perspective lang yung Martin. Okay. Okay. So, I'm sure I've saved more. I think that's the first thing that you need to understand because I enjoyed life too much. I was spending. I was, you know, I, I would justify, you know, I'm doing it for the family. I had to reward myself and so forth and so on. I'm doing it for my wife. So, I made a lot of these justifications <laughs> to spend more, which caused a lot of financial troubles for me because what? of my ability. To my sorry, my my lack of ability to save, I was spending more than I should. That got me into my second biggest mistake. Mm. I got into a debt problem. Pero what was the largest expense item that you can remember? No, multiple, multiple. Okay. Multiple. So, so because of that, you watch European through trip, oh. changing cars too fast. Oh. One of these things I had to experience and and you know really learn a lesson from that. So, first one is not saving enough. Okay. Second one, because I was not saving enough, I was spending more, my lifestyle became more and more difficult to sustain, I got into a debt problem. Mm -hmm. So, that was my second mistake uh, financially, and it's connected with the first one. Uh, that really, you know, that cost me a lot of stress, sleepless night, you know, my dignity, my self-worth, na Whoa, what's your dignity? Siyempre, I know, you know, when you have a lot of debt, you don't feel good about okay. yourself. You, you, you question your future. I was fearful of the future I can give my kids, and all of these things are put together. Mm -hmm. And I was justifying why, you know, so at the back of my mind, okay, lang yan, okay, lang. but in reality, it's not. Eh. So mm -hmm. when I had that realization, then I realized I had to do something about it. So I went back. I went back to the way I earn and the way I spend. I should earn more, spend less, get out of debt. So that's something that uh, became a struggle for me. And here's the thing when you've done that, everything else is easy. Eh. Mm. I mean, some people not stress uh, investing. But they don't invest. Mahirap. <laughs> mahirap oh, maguhin ng, mahirap maguhin ng uh, behaviors natin. So that's the second one. And the third one is siguro making the wrong investments that I, I've okay. done. Eh, parang I got into real estate too early. Parang, you know, I would, I would, I would, I would buy property and realize I can sustain it and then I would borrow money. That's for the lo for the lo the loans. Okay. Yeah, mga ganun. that that kind of added up. Um, I was making the wrong uh, putting up a business that I think it's good and it's not good. I made a lot of these mistakes because I was hasty. Mm. I was hasty kasi nagmamadali ako, you know, to be in a financial position that's better, you know, you know, okay lang kumita ng malaki, mabait ko utang ko, ganyan those things. So I made a lot of stupid mistakes which became the inspiration of my first book, you know, not just personal mm. finance. Kaya nga when I teach now, it's, it's, I know, it's, it's step by step because I had to learn the hard way. Unlike Marvin, Marvin was bo born a financial planner. No, 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 he started, no, no. he bought his first stock at grade two. No? So, from, so, learn from circumstance. Now, yeah, so those good. things. So, yeah. Karen, like, I learned from circumstances, but the hard circumstances. Mm. So, and that's my epiphany, no? that, that's a story why 
the three biggest I, mistakes. I don't know if I don't know if you want to share this no? at its highest point largest amount of debt para to inspire people na pwede ka makawala 1.6 million Whoa. in credit card Whoa. Ah? Ila, one card yun or a series of cards na yun? two or three I think Whoa. paid all of it Wow, Jason Loden, malaki din eh. Mas malaki yun. Oo nga eh. Wow, so... Mayroon na Jason made... I mean, our good friend Jason Lo. Uh, Nagkautang siya because his business failed. Hmm. Ako nagkautang because I was stupid. Yan, it's a different story. <laughs> and I don't... I don't know. I did malarap stupid mistakes. <laughs> okay. Uh, every minute. So mistakes. you you bought and you you went into debt. And then, uh, interesting that people might want to know. How, what was your... You said that you lessened your expenses to get out of that. Um, it's really more also wiser in the way I spent. I understood that if it's a need, then I would spend. If it's a want, sometimes I wait. And I got out of things that I don't need to buy, like luxuries and you know excessive excessiveness of these things. Call had luxury in there. Uh, <laughs> ask my friend Jason. Uh, when you're alone in- there, I mean, if you everyone needs to buy shoes. You know? mm. Now. If you buy two, you're okay. If you buy 25, then you're okay. Oh, Jason Law, Jason Law. Oh, 25, 25 kulang. Jason, wala, wala, wala. 19, 18, 18. <laughs> no, 19, no, pabili siya sa akin isa. So, uh, 18, 18 ako pabili na lang. Yeah. Anyway, joking, joke, joke lang ha. Baka, uh, uh, watch is unique, unique. <laughs> Alright, so, um, that, that's, a, that's a big mistake. And, and you realize, Marvin, over the years, we, we talk to a lot of people who made a lot of mistakes. And this is what I tell a lot of people who made a lot of mistakes. Mm. Okay lang yan. Okay. What is important is that you stand up, you pick up yourself, and decide that you don't want to repeat the mistake. You decide mm-hmm. to you rebel against the idea that you don't want to be in where you are right now. Magalit ka na sa situation mo and do something about it. And this is where our books, our seminars, mm-hmm. our counseling. This is this is where it's really really important. So it, at least you what you what you're teaching right now came from Pastor Compton. Alam mo, alam mo so alive. Some people teach based on theories, no. Some people teach someone based on just experience. I guess I'm different in the point that I do both. Because mm. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a, I teach RFP. I was in professional college. So I'm a teacher for naman ako. Eh. Then I'm the corporate world. But I also live the life. No, I mean made mistakes and made the right ones. Uh, so I guess that's that makes us a little bit different. When you were in debt, what was hard? What was easier for you? Just to lower your expenses and or try to earn more. Para you got you know out originally it. I my intention was to earn more, but that didn't solve my problem. Eh. As I earn more, I was just spending more. Okay. I think this is an issue of first cut expenses and then focus on earning more. It's it, it has to be both. But if you have to choose one, I think I would start with cutting expenses first. That's the first. I I mean, should, should, it, should it be a drastic change in? Uh, lifestyle already para boom the, the debt problem gets solved Theor- theoret- theoretically uh-huh. dapat mm-hmm. pero syempre di ba? we're only human beings and I say it's behavior that's why when I recommend people you do baby steps baby steps baby steps so that's something but iko kaya mo na some people do that no? that's a that's scenario you know when you continue to invest in yourself continue to be good at what you're doing your income will go up eh. mm-hmm. but as your income go up you begin to spend and spend and spend more you may have ka Diba? So you have to be careful about those things. And then the solution mo is to sustain that lifestyle, magkakautang ka na. Pero masarap din kumain na masarap. <laughs> Alam mo, I mean, Marvin and I, we eat a lot. We eat good food. He just, I just prepared it. Stay. Kaya nga, diba, Marvin, natuto ako magluto. You know why? Because I want to eat good food, but I don't want to spend too much. Mm. Alam mo yun? You know, this few hours ago, Marvin had a good steak. Sarap. If you buy that outside, that's gonna cost you like 2K. 2K? I didn't spend that much. I spent like a fraction of that. And my, mar- my friends have done good. And I prepared him a good uh, flat good. white coffee. So that yung flat white, white coffee, coffee from here. that's like 140. 160. 160. 160. Yes. Craft tayo, I probably yeah. spent 25 bucks for that. Very good. So it's easier for you to save at the start and then try to earn more yeah. than later. Yeah, you enjoy life. There's a balance. Eh? You know, I, I posted something that quite become, became viral, Mark. You know? I said the diff. Uh, the, you know, the um, middle ground between savings and, in, and enjoyment. Alam ko yan, it's financial planning. <laughs> Nabasa ko sa Facebook mo yan. Nabasa ko si, I'm a follower. So, uh, what can they expect, Icon 2018? Oh, okay. You can learn much from Mr. Mark Guillermo, <laughs> no? no? Uh, the stock market slash crypto expert. I actually like this <laughs> lighting. Oh, okay. No, I invested in my lighting. 
So, right, so, so May 26. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to you. Of course, the the whole idea is I couldn't say about myself. No, uh, it just bears my name. But uh, I could really about how great the speakers are. Rex, Rex Mendoza, Dalton Canando, Marvin Guillermo, Dumeri, and everybody else is gonna be participating in that. You know, just for everybody's idea, no. Mm. Eh, matagal kami nag-uusap ni Marvin and how to create our our, 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 our speaker lineup. So we do we go through a lot of uh, discussions, debate. Eh, kasuntukan pa kami sometimes. <laughs> na joke lang. So those things are very important. And I'm gonna talk to you them about. Uh, my tendency is to, to to tally everything, every speaker. So this time, uh, first four sessions I did first four icons. I was the first speaker, but the last year I was the last speaker. So I think I'm gonna be the last speaker now. Yeah, and you'll again. be I don't know, in the middle. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there, uh, link icon. will be below. How you can register? I hope to see you. This is something that gets prepared. Oh, by the way, tickets are getting for year. Yeah. So, tickets are almost so I hope you guys come and I hope you guys join us so that uh, we really want to see you invest well and also make money as well. So God bless you and see you. See you in Icon. Bye bye. See you, icon.